get ready for the show. Sadi Kadaram show. Get ready for the show. Sadi Kadaram show. Read it, Rupin, come now. Hey, Sadi Kadaram show. Ready for the show. Hashtag Sadi Kadaram show. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We are discussing one of the popular trends happening now women empowerment. So many conferences have been taking place over the years and now I think it's almost a trend I'm not sure but here to discuss this topic with me is someone who is pretty much visible in some of these these conferences and breakout empowerment sessions I'm talking about attorney at law Rochelle Cameron she will be my guest in one of my segments today on the show nice to have you Rochelle nice to be here <laughs> So you've pretty much been, you know, popping up at a lot of these empowerment sessions, um, empowering women. What is happening now in, in the society where we're seeing so many conferences? Well, I think one of the key things, you know, is that we are, as women, we're finally starting to realize that we have to not just tap into our power, we have to own our power. Mm -hmm. So I think we were at a place that we were trying to get power, to tap into the power, and we're finally realizing that like we're born with the power, <laughs> so we just need to own the power. Mm -hmm. So we are more educated. We have spending power. We're making a lot of the spending decisions that affect the nation. Sounds good. And I think we're starting to own our value and our worth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the conferences now bring us together because we weren't necessarily coming together as women to talk about our very shared experiences. Because that's one of the amazing things is that you find out that you're not that special. Afterwards. You know? <laughs> and all of the things you're going through, not that special. Mm -hmm. And we're vocalizing and more we for are. challenges now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think we are also, there's so much power in our vulnerability, in our stories, mm -hmm. and in the experiences that have come from challenges to success. Mm -hmm. And it's just constant growth and change. And as we come together, we realize that the different things, you know, that you can pull from each other. And we are starting to get away from the place where we believe that all women do is tear each other down. So, you know, you hear things like you shouldn't have a female boss because apparently all these things she's going to mix up her witch's brew and give you. <laughs> so that's I didn't hear that one. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> and she'll prevent you from getting a promotion. I <laughs> nah, go get nowhere in her life with a female boss. And I am, I am a senior manager in my organization at Flow. And... I have found that I have a duty everywhere that I go mm -hmm. to be representing what women are. And I'm not creating anything, but what we are. Mm -hmm. And I have a duty to constantly ensure that elevator is going back down to bring more of us That's up. That's very important. Yeah. But do you think this was happening before, but in a different Bear in in back in the days with our parents in the community was there that type of support the village raising and empowering yeah the village has always been a significant part of what our lives are so you know as you mentioned the village and i think of my own life mm -hmm. um with my mother she's very close to her sister my grandmother those female relatives that have been such a significant part of what I look to, to where I'm mm -hmm. going, and they are constantly reminding me that we've gotten here, and we are training you up to take it to another level, and you're training up another set. So I am the um, consummate auntie and oh. godmother of everybody. <laughs> so a big part of my role is that other parent, that other parent that shows you that other place that you are destined and born mm -hmm. to go. Because everybody was born for greatness and success and it's not like there's like a bunch of people that are on a list and you know they're on a list they're on the b list and if one drop off you might get, get in there yeah. Yeah. yeah and the good thing with special and success and so there's no definitive number for it there's not a percentage and if you don't reach another percentage mm -hmm. they're not now going for you everybody there is a space for everybody is how you tap into it man woman boy child Everybody has a right to that space and how, you choose. How easy it is for you to transmit that to the average individual 
who might not be where they want to be in life and looking at everyone especially with social media yeah. everyone seems to have this fabulous perfect life and succeeding you know how easy it is to get that message across especially across to women <laughs> so i love social media <laughs> <laughs> me too no i love it because you know what social media so there are lots of ills with it, but it also is a space where everybody gets to create their own stardom, <laughs> is what you do with it. But it's another place too that people, you can either be empowered by other people's success, because you know what I always say? Whenever you're looking at something and you see that somebody else has done it, it means it can be done. It can be done. Mm -hmm. So you want to know sometimes so that somebody else do it, you know? So it no impossible, impossible that's or true. what you could be the first because somebody has to be the first mm -hmm. now if you're using social media as a space to grudge people <laughs> then do it use up your data upon that <laughs> <laughs> or you can use it as a space of learning and learning from the good and learning from, from the, bad the bad too so um for me i think a part of my purpose and you know you're always finding and defining your purpose a part of my purpose is sharing my own life mm -hmm. in every way that i can so going to these conferences speaking at these conferences um showing my own vulnerability you know people look at you at particular spaces that you are in your life mm -hmm. and they assume that you zoomed there or that things were set for you in a particular way and being able to share the successes the failures, the mistakes, but better yet, the persons who have pulled me along the way, mm -hmm. the persons who have recognized that talent in me and they've been there. And all of them not, were not necessarily in any high place of mentorship. Some people who have just believed in you. Sometimes it's the security guard at your office who say, Miss, oh, you look so nice. You always look nice. Me like how you talk, you know. <laughs> me like how you talk. Me like how you go on. And it kind of pushes you. Right. Somebody you may have sat with and they come back to you and they say, you know that piece of advice that you gave me, I've used it. And you realize that probably I could share that with some other people. Very good. Because if all you come here for do, I just take two pictures and get some selfie and some likes. It have to be like more than that. I really hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned sending back the elevator down yeah. for someone. Do you think we are supporting where it needs to be, when it counts, when it matters? And it's all good and well to attend these conferences and feel it. But when we get behind closed doors, do you think women are really supporting where it's necessary? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think a lot of women are. I think we don't give in ourselves enough credit right. for it. Um, I think I have been the product of a lot of elevators being sent down by other women. Um, a lot of support from my female friends, from female leaders that I've had in my life, from female mentors. Um, and so I believe that I have been the product of those elevators because elevators had to be sent down for mm -hmm. me to get where I am. That's a reality. That's true. So um, when you get up there, you can hold your head down in a fear that that space that you are up there, somebody's coming to take it away. Because the truth is, you know, it now nah go stay there forever, you know, because if nothing else, one day I go dead too <laughs> and leave it. So, and if your legacy was just that you alone were there, that is no legacy. Mm -hmm. Your legacy is how many people got at that table because, of, because of the help you've given, the advice you've given, and better yet, the support you've given. Send the elevator back down. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. More <laughs> coming right after this. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Ready for the show, hashtag Sadiqa Daram Show.